This quick clip, a group of kids are playing soccer when a strange and mysterious creature decides to crash their game. Watch closely as a black object approaches them from the right. The poor quality of this video makes it hard to tell exactly what this creature is. It's very small and the way it shuffles side to side does not look natural at all. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to make out a face or even any limbs. It could be a wild animal, but the way that the children and even the dog all run away in absolute horror has many people convinced that this creature could be paranormal or even extraterrestrial. Even when you slow down the video and zoom in on the creature, it's hard to tell what it could be. I personally have no idea what it is, and I definitely like to read your best guess in the comments below. A YouTuber named Stromedy continues to catch bizarre encounters on his drone. This time he drives out three hours to a random field to see what's out there. He and his friend Ashton are expecting to find bears, but instead they chance upon a man walking all by himself who immediately breaks into a run through the snow upon being spotted. They follow him for over a minute while he tries to hide, then in an unexpected twist, he blasts the drone out of the sky. I can even hear, how far away is that? Yo, I Dude, think he hit it. Yo, he just he hit, hit the drone. It, bro. Dude, what it, the It's yo. black, it just went black. Guys, the screen just went black. The muzzle fire looks like it could be special effects, but let me know what you think. Stromedy believes that this man was trespassing and took out their drone to avoid getting followed and reported to police. If this is real, then they most likely will not be able to catch him because his face is fully covered and they never find his car or his hideout. A married couple stationed at Fort Irwin in California are relaxing at home when suddenly their motion-activated baby monitor turns on to reveal some scary stuff caught on camera. Um, that's a little weird. I don't know what it is. What they suspect is a small ghost hand waves at them excitedly. When they move the camera a few degrees over, it's mysteriously gone. It isn't long before the ghost hand reappears to wave at them some more. The backstory on this one is sparse. They say their house is haunted but don't go into more detail. They also say the hand moves way too fast to be a human, and I agree that's true, but only because this is probably a piece of dust on something up close. Japan knows horror. Here's a creepy clip from the Far East. Imagine approaching a traffic light only to run into this. A creepy woman at a pedestrian crossing in Sapporo, Japan seems to be in a trance-like state. Halfway through the pedestrian crossing, she stopped to stare straight at oncoming traffic, completely unmoving. Although it's clearly the time to cross, as you can see other pedestrians using the crosswalk behind her, she is at a standstill, staring off unnervingly, causing the driver taking the video to wonder what in the world is going on. Even as the light changes, the woman continues to stand there in the middle of the road staring. The driver passes around her, capturing the woman on video, still frozen in place as they pass her by. What do you think is going on? The woman's behavior is unexplainable. Seems like something might be in the water in Japan. A camera pans across a white room filled with antique furniture and creepy collectibles, which is already bad enough, but when it stops at a tall old mirror, they seem surprised to find a childlike silhouette filling out the frame. As they are studying the child in their shaky gaze, a pair of identical orbs float above her head as two pinpoints of light become barely visible, almost like she is turning her head slightly. I guess this shadow child could simply be a large doll. However, even if this was the case, as far as I'm aware, only the eyes of the living can reflect light like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lifeless doll should never have glowing eyes. The person recording sees the eyes and tears up the steps in a hurry. They would later refer to the event only as the girl with sparkling eyes in the dark. Two men go into an internet cafe early in the morning with a few pro tools and the worst of intentions. 
hardly anyone is there and even if the place were busy, it wouldn't matter because they've got their routine down to a science. They pick two seats midway down so as not to look obvious. One of them acts like they're going online, but what he's really doing is helping to cover the movements of his friend, who has already unscrewed the casing of the computer and is now working on the floor bolts that are holding it down. There's a wall on his side, so if you worked there, it would be like he was digging through a backpack or something. Something walks by them at 28 seconds and is too busy on their phone to notice what they're up to. They act like they are looking at something on the same screen as the entire uncased computer gets put into a large plastic bag. They put the empty computer case back to make it look like nothing is out of place. They can't just walk out of there with a big obvious computer shaped plastic bag. So they take it into the bathroom and dismantle the computer for valuable spare parts and throw the rest in the trash. The clerk has no idea what they've done, not even glancing up as they briskly walk out with top of the line video cards, RAM, and other hardware to sell. Clearly this isn't their first time, but this time they were caught on camera. A YouTuber named G, the one and only, starts off this video immediately looking creeped out and a little bit panicked about something, but we are not yet let in on whatever his current situation is. Presumably a friend of his starts to film him as he proceeds to walk into a room which is absolutely filled with bionicle toys which is surely any young kid's dream but maybe this set of bionicle toys are not meant to be played with. There's nothing up here. They are claiming that a bionicle's head moves on its own. Let's slow this footage down and see if we can see it. See, it's the tallest bionicle figure. Oh, I, I see it now. I think it's this one right up here. Although it only happens for just a brief second, if you slow down the footage and zoom in, you can see that the tallest bionicle figure standing up actually appears to move its head slightly all by itself. Of course, it is entirely possible that this particular figure is battery powered and has a built-in feature which allows for its head to move around, but that seems like reaching for answers. Plus the uploader who owns the toy is creeped out by this, so it can't be battery powered. He says that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but is having a hard time dismissing this clip. Let this video be a warning that not even your own childhood toys are safe from being taken over by the spirit of ghosts. Mysterious rare creatures walk this earth, and most of us will never get a chance to see them. Until now. Shared by YouTuber Satpam Horror, this creature is known as a parakang in Indonesian. And this is what it sounds like. If this isn't some expert makeup, then I am 100% terrified. The sound coming from this creature also makes my skin crawl. Its glowing eyes and small sharp teeth look demonic. One thing's for sure, I would never search for this creature. A ghost hunting group called No Fear Paranormal lives up to their name while exploring a haunted cemetery with a K2 meter, a spirit box and some recording equipment. The name of the haunted place they're exploring is the Tonopah Cemetery in Nevada. They ask it a question, but apparently whatever is nearby has only one topic on its mind. Can you tell us how many of us are out here? How many people are in the cemetery? A, a scary voice of a man comes through their paranormal equipment and calmly responds with two words, a demon. I'm not sure if this is a real ghost EVP or not, but the way it immediately tells them that a demon is nearby is frightening to say the least, and possibly more than a creepy coincidence. Published by Diane Frazier. 
This paranormal team spent some time with the shadow man. In their communication with him, he revealed he lost his wife and blamed himself for her passing, saying he felt like he had a hole in his heart. How are you feeling about us coming here to talk to you? Does that make you happy? Black. The team captured two photographs which they have interpreted. This one is the shadow man, revealing the hole in his heart from losing his wife. The second, they believe, shows the couple reunited and entering into the beyond together. Are these interpretations correct? Did the shadow man and his beloved wife reunite? This is the story I want to believe, and to me, the photographs do look quite convincing. What do you think? This scary video captured an inhuman humanoid figure lurking over a human habitat, and it has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. Taken in someone's backyard, you first see a pool with trees beyond. It looks as though the cameraman is searching for something in the foliage. He then turns to the roof of the home. The roof at first seems to be empty, but when the cameraman turns completely to the right, this terrifying figure is spotted. Its fleshy skin is a raw, sunburnt pink. Its limbs are somewhat elongated. Its shoulders are hunchbacked, and its pinhead is on a neck that's uncannily long. The creepiest part of it is that the figure is looking right at him. It stays still for a second, its eyes glowing as it watches the unsuspecting cameraman, before leaping with cat-like reflexes over the other side of the roof and out of sight. If this footage is real, then I have no idea what this thing possibly was. A YouTuber named Fanatic is fishing in Louisville, Texas, when he snags something so rotten it makes him gag. Inside of the bag is a scary discovery that forces Fanatic to call the police. Um, this and I pulled the bag up and it had some type of bones in it. I don't know if they're animal bones or human bones or if they're... The entire 911 conversation is recorded and a police officer shows up to investigate, so there is absolutely no doubt that this video is legit. They take the bags of bones away for evidence, and as far as I know, the lab results have never been made public. Roosevelt High is a school in St. Louis, Missouri, rumored to have been built on top of an old graveyard long ago. Now, a paranormal investigator named Soul Searching stands by the bleachers of a football field with a spirit box to find out if people were buried here like the local legends say. Are there any spirits here? Four seconds later, this voice comes through with a strong reply. When asked how it feels, the same voice replies with a flat answer that lacks all emotion, which I guess underscores its bleak point. Are you upset? And that's I'm showing this so you can hear for yourself that all of the answers make sense and they're all coming from the same voice, so I think this is real. The final answer pretty much confirms it. Is your body still here? But just to be sure, Soul Searching moves on to the school itself, where a spirit confirms its presence when asked to do so. Oh, that was a yep. Here's the only part I'm not so sure about. Can you turn the lights on now? It wasn't on before. Soul Searching thinks the lights are off, but I think they may have been on the whole time. It's hard to tell though, so I will give her the benefit of the doubt that the light came on by itself, especially given how much paranormal activity was on the football field earlier. A family in the Philippines is holding a ceremony for their child when something amazing happens. Their baby begins to move. The parents pluck their child and wrap it in blankets. Just yesterday, medical examiners had told them that their child had passed from a severe fever. Now clearly still alive, though the parents are relieved, 
Terror soon set in as they realized how close they came to burying their baby alive. A YouTuber named Herb Doggy is diving underwater when he sees a small cave that looks interesting. In less than a minute, he is being chased out by something that's not even human. A giant moray eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase Herb Doggy away, though I'm not entirely sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are and if they really would chase someone away. I'd also really like to know if this was an electric eel or not, in which case I totally understand why Herb Doggy was in so much of a hurry to get out of there. There's a YouTube channel called The Zeroeth Folio of Shakespeare that posts nothing but weird Shakespearean quotes in a low, menacing voice. <laughs> Somebody has been posting dozens of these videos for over a year now despite most of them having only 5 views or less. I don't really understand what these videos could possibly mean individually or when put together. All I know is that it's almost like whoever is uploading these videos is on some kind of mysterious mission with a hidden purpose that I doubt is benign. Anyway, here's where things get really weird. The right side of these videos has always shown static for the past year, but at the end of their latest video posted four months ago, the static suddenly clears and this scary event happens. I also noticed how the thumbnail for this video looks different than the others, further adding to the mystery. All of the other thumbnails show the same image of static, but this newest one clearly shows a strange looking man wearing what appears to be clothing from another time period. Take a look at the channel and let me know if you think this is just a clever gimmick or some kind of nefarious creation loaded with hidden messages. A TikTok user named Caesar in MP is piloting a plane when he sees an oddly terrifying unknown flying object skimming the clouds. Just below, the tiny circular object appears to have no propellers and emits no exhaust. It looks like it's moving extremely fast, but keep in mind Caesar is passing it in his own aircraft, so its exact speed is unknown. A regular civilian drone could not move at this rate of speed, and its design looks more complex than a regular drone. So what do you think? Secret project? Or something from someplace much farther away than Earth? A dark alley gets even creepier when a mysterious figure peeks in from nowhere. At six seconds, it straightens up and briefly assumes a human form before losing its shape and abruptly flying away. A ghost sighting has been caught on tape if this security video is to be believed. If not, then it looks like an insect landed on the lens to create this effect and then flew away. This live interview was taken somewhere in South America. Only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización del. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. If this isn't CGI, then this is certainly a once in a lifetime occurrence captured live. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over.
You can see all that is left is a smoldering pile of ashes. I can't tell if his clothes were disintegrated as he was beamed into a ship, or if he was simply disintegrated by an energy force field. This could be scripted, but the text in the bottom right and the police chatter both seem authentic, so maybe this video is real after all. If anyone understands police code and knows what they are saying in the background radio chatter, then please let me know. Maybe it can help us solve this strange video. When your dog sees something you don't, their harrowing sixth sense can send chills down your spine. That's what happened to TikToker AlphaOcean22 who writes, I live alone and just found out about the previous owner. Alpha Ocean's footage begins abruptly with her dog barking into the darkness. What the What are you barking at? Oh, God. The dog is on high alert, his body language that of defense. He's seen growling and springing across the bed. Needless to say, the animal's reaction to whatever lies beyond terrifies its owner to no end. In a follow-up video, Alpha Ocean explains exactly what happened in the initial footage. From Diesel, essentially growling at nothing physical. I'm definitely not in a position to say what it was in the video or what is real and what's not. Personally, I've always been real spiritual, so I know what I felt. She says she was woken up at 1 in the morning from her dog Diesel, growling at nothing physical. She explains that she's in no position to say exactly what it was that Diesel was growling at, though it was the first time the dog has acted this way. She, however, has always been spiritual and felt something in the home. She claims this wasn't the first time something unusual like this has happened to her. She calls the home her wildlife sanctuary, but says she's had some sense for a while that she's not supposed to be there. She discovered from neighbors that the owner of the home was a very closed off man who lived alone with his mother who passed away. Alpha Ocean states she'll leave the rest up to the viewer's interpretation. So how do you interpret this? Do dogs have a sixth sense? And if so, did Ocean's pet perceive the presence of the homeowner's dearly departed? Or was this dog sensing something else? I guess we'll never know for sure. I need to include this video because I've never come across a paranormal video before with such an even split between people saying that it's absolutely fake and so obviously real. <laughs> Some people are certain that this is the legitimate ghost of a child, and others are sure that this is special effects, light reflections, and a plastic bag, and a host of other non-paranormal explanations. As for me, I think that I probably would have noticed something that large moving out of the corner of my eye, so I think it could be fake. But then again, I can't say for sure unless I was there myself. Maybe the camera recorded something that was not discernible by the naked eye. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself, but for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started, ones that make me the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013, back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. Are you a demon? The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. 
suddenly his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room. But at 1 minute and 58 seconds the light seems to glow even brighter than before. And he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now but day after day, Arki continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 2.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 4.8. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arki hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind, much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arki gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over 5 years is, in fact, going way too far. Christopher passes by a mysterious figure that everyone in the car thinks is really weird. <laughs> He's in the middle of the desert of an unnamed Arabic speaking country and hasn't seen anyone in miles and miles. Christopher says he was worried this person might be stranded, but when he turns around to help, they were gone. Well, more like disappeared. That's really weird if they are telling the truth because there is nowhere to hide. They might be facing the camera and even reaching out to them at the 29 second mark. What do you think? I can't tell if this is a person or a ghost sighting. Are they asking for help? This video was published to YouTube in July of 2007 with the title, Dragon Was Caught Sight Of By Infrared Rays. This video appears to show the ghostly smoky figure of a long creature fly through the air from the top to the bottom of the frame. Modern scholars suggest that crocodiles might be the closest to resemble a dragon and maybe what informed its imagery. Or maybe this creature is something else completely and just somewhat resembles a dragon. Nothing else like this has been caught on this security camera since. This djinn has a sense of humor. Published by Hassan Barbar in May of 2022, the paranormal explorer is in this abandoned place when a djinn alerts him to his presence, yet he does not appear. As the unseen makes more noise, Smell. 
Allah. Hassan follows the sound, then the thing starts to laugh, or is this a laugh? The noise continues, leading him around this empty maze. Soon it sounds like it's breaking something apart, and then that unnerving laughter again. Where is it coming from? The jinn speaks to him, but what does he want? We may never know. A YouTuber named Isaac Telford gathers a group of friends with one goal in mind. We're exploring an abandoned house. Haunted or not, they are certain they will be able to go exploring the house without a problem. As they laugh and joke their way from room to room, they start to get the feeling that this house might not be so abandoned after all. Dude, there's a bed. Is it me? Yo, there's a bed. It's like pillows and everything. Yeah, hold on, guys. Abandoned houses don't tend to have perfectly made beds, clothing items are randomly discarded, and create an impression that someone has been staying here for some time. We're trying. Hey, what's going on, seriously? Yeah, let's get out. Uh, let's try to talk to a ghost, all right? This is the basement, guys. We're going to go down in it. All right, let's go, boys. It looks like mostly random clutter, but seriously, somebody please tell me what's up with the huge pile of shoes. There are shoes of all different sizes, men's and women's, an odd collection to have. It's like they're being kept as trophies. Soon they leave the house and want to go exploring an abandoned nearby prison instead. They pull up to the haunted place and are about to go inside when something bizarre happens. Okay, hold on. We have a car. Dude, there's never been a car on this road. Hey, maybe we're just gonna drink it. Oh, we should go. <clears throat> oh, are they flashing again? Isaac makes a turn and quickly shuts off his headlights. Oh my. Oh my. Dude, they, I think they saw us. Yeah, we're turning. Okay, we're gonna take off. They wait in the darkness and eventually the car passes. It's late at night by now and Isaac is nervous and tired and makes a wrong turn into a construction yard. That's when they meet up with the mysterious car again. He turns off the camera because getting out of there is more important than getting content. They managed to escape this time, but I have little doubt this was probably the same person living in the old house they explored earlier. They seem to have made an enemy out of this stranger by exploring his house. Hopefully he isn't planning to one day go exploring their houses in return. This YouTuber thinks his room is completely haunted. This is what was caught on video when the camera was left running for only a few minutes. Okay, not exactly five minutes, but I swear to God I heard something, so I'm gonna watch back the footage. He comes back into the room thinking he heard a noise, but nothing is there. At least nothing that he could see. At 2 minutes and 41 seconds, a fast moving shadow figure is caught on camera. A mysterious outline of a person. I don't think the reflection is his because it moves too quickly. This creepy video is either paranormal or edited, but which? Something about it says real ghost sighting to me. Here's a strange dash cam video from Malaysia that will leave you scratching your head. These motorists are on a dark road when they pass by a woman in a pink shirt once and then again a little farther up the road and a third time, at which point they are noticeably alarmed and speed away, only to run straight into her a fourth and final time. <laughs> Watch the full video and you'll see that they are not driving in a circle. Even if they were driving in a circle, there's no way they could have completed a full lap in the short time it takes for the woman to appear again. Perhaps what's most unsettling about this is how each time the woman's back is turned to them, never once seeing her face. Can a person passing away stop the clocks? This video posted by lmonkA7x to the ghosts subreddit calls that into question. 
Monk explains in the comments that his partner was working the night shift at the hospital when a patient passed at 3.11 a.m. Porters arrived to transport the body around 45 minutes later. Not long after, a nurse was logging the passing in the computer when she observed a clock's hand spinning rapidly. The passing was logged into the computer at 4.10 a.m. and a minute later the clock stopped spinning at 4.11 a.m exactly an hour after the man's passing. While Monk admits to ordinarily being a skeptic, his partner's reaction to what happened, as well as everyone else's in the ward, convinced him that this was no practical joke, this was real. All who paid witness to the odd timing were shaken up over it. Being that the clock is analog and not digital, Monk suggests it's strange that the clock stopped on the exact right time of day after going berserk. He also believes that the whole thing was paranormal, being that the clock's actions coincided with the passing of the patient and the processes surrounding it. What do you think? Coincidence or not? The people of Reddit are on both sides of the fence. Either way, the timing couldn't have been creepier. Turnshaw's special school in Kirkburton was destroyed by a massive fire in July of 2009. Many residents phoned the fire department after noticing flames coming from the building. Heard and his crew of 50 firefighters were dispatched to the area around 6 p.m. The size of the fire was enormous and required a lot of manpower. The crew managed to control the fire enough to save one of the buildings, but it took all night and five jets to take down the flames. Residents were told to stay indoors while the fire department did its job. The fumes were thick and some residents claimed that the firefighters were warning residents about asbestos. Huddersfield Fire Station crew manager Mark Hurd stated that these were indicators that the fire was started on purpose. It's unclear where the investigation into the matter led, but this was certainly one extremely large fire. Blink and you'll miss it. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Power Startup writes, IDK, what's up with this video? It's slowed down and the voice sounds poorly acted. But when she turns the camera back around, look at the left staircase. As the woman in the video addresses an unseen presence called Joey, the camera pans from a rickety old stair to a darkened window for a moment. It's when she turns back that viewers are seeing something unusual. Redditor Paratrax writes, That's a foot, walking up the stairs, while others agree that it appears on the third step to the bottom near the railing. Is this Joey? If so, he's not in the basement. Lady, he'd be right beside you. This video is all the more reason not to work from home. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Big Bo One Jord explains that a friend sent him this clip after he kept hearing things in the middle of the night. He started taking video to catch some evidence of the noise's source. In the video, the friend walks out into the hallway from his bedroom. As he nears his office, something very clearly moves out of view, but it's not clear what that something is. A Redditor who goes by the username Captain Fatbelly recommends viewers to turn up the brightness on the video. He writes, It definitely looks like a person. I worry about the chance there might actually be somebody lurking around in your friend's house. Other Redditors agree that it looks like a person. Well, Scary Ninja Gamer says, Your friend is screwed. We'd have to agree. A YouTuber from San Antonio, Texas, named Dylan James TV records a deep moan that fills the night sky. Take a listen and give me your best guess as to what this mysterious noise could be. I hope you can hear that. After a while, it grows closer and louder until the sound breaks directly overhead, yet nothing is visible. What's especially strange is the comments for this video. Other people from as far as Florida admittedly claim to have heard this exact same noise. Apparently it happens for five minutes at a time, at which point it stops as abruptly as it began. A YouTuber named Underwater Ireland explores a cemetery on a dreary day. Crows cackle loudly overhead like a warning not to go any further as she treads sacred ground. They look like 
such a ton of classes. Underwater Island looks down and notices that all of the markers have a wide gap. I have never seen any cemetery with this problem before, have you? If I didn't know better, it almost looks like the buried have been trying to claw their way out. She sets up some cameras and records overnight, and this is what she finds the next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There! Did you see that flash? And this is the same shot from a different angle. Also, notice how the gate opens here. Okay, so this frowning man wearing a helmet is what the image looks like when the video is stopped. Is this special effects? Or did a spirit really come face to face with the camera moments after opening the entrance? Poncho is patrolling his campus as a security guard when he and his partner see some strange activity coming through the window. The lights are flashing on and off at the same time in every last room on the first floor. It looks like they are standing outside docking documenting the event instead of rushing straight in. And you know what, I don't blame them, because I would definitely wait for backup if I saw this too. Or maybe I would try to find some non-haunted places to work at instead. Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looked bad when they first found it, but the flames are as twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash. When they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. If you have a sibling, then they've likely played practical jokes on you before. But what happens when the impractical is not a joke? In this video, something is seen floating on the other side of the room. As the boys grow increasingly panicked, a toy car is thrown at the younger brother, while another toy car comes flying towards the older brother, seemingly of its own accord. The video cuts out and then resumes, as the brothers are arguing with each other in Malé, perhaps blaming each other for the paranormal activity. The younger brother is being yelled at, and he screams back in anger before leaving the room. The older brother looks concerned, and when they go check on him, they find a figure standing on the toilet hanging upside down. Wait, After shouting out, one of the older brothers rushes back into the dining room, and it seems the paranormal is not over yet. A chair shoves out from under the table on its own. He grabs his phone, while the other brother attempts to restrain the child. That's where the video ends. While many in the comments are doubtful of this video's authenticity, some are all in saying this is real. Facebook user Mohammed Zaraf Amin is one of the latter, writing, All of you who comment says this is all an act. Just be careful if he wants to disturb you. We have to believe this smooth creature exists. I guess if we don't believe, we are more vulnerable. A ghost hunter named Solo Ambush goes exploring an abandoned morgue in the woods full of creepy things. The place has been deserted for years, but the smell of bodies has buried itself into the morgue walls. This table surface must be where they were prepared for burial. On it, he finds a needle to sew whatever shut. He puts it in his pocket, which possibly upsets the spirits because that's when the paranormal activity begins. He puts an object on the table and invites any spirits nearby to make it move. <laughs> A defiant spirit moves things behind him instead. When he goes to investigate the noise, he finds nothing, and then he gets an idea. Okay, let's switch off the light.
A figure in red silently passes across the floor of the haunted, abandoned mortuary with its head down. He runs after it and finds only the stench of decay is left in its wake, nothing else. Okay. He says this ghost sighting could be a reflection of light, but he is standing in a dark hallway with the lights off, so I'm not sure I agree with that one. Like many of the previously haunted places he's gone exploring in the past, what he's caught on tape in this building is most likely paranormal and terrifying. And as he leaves, Something slams the door closed behind him. The ghost hunter is no longer welcome to go exploring this haunted place. Not that he ever was to begin with. A YouTuber named Ziggy09 wasn't sure if the spirit world was real or not until he got a visit from one of them. So I bet you were focused on the figure outside the window, that you didn't notice this curtain moving by itself, while the opposite one stays as still as can be. Something must already be in the home. Ziggy turns on the lights to reveal an all-white figure wave its hand, the curtain closest to it fluttering all the while, followed by a weird humming noise. Ziggy claims to have seen nothing in the window at this time, but his eerie suspicions of being watched at night were confirmed upon reviewing this video. To further add to the mystery, his last update was over 7 years ago, so either he forgot about this channel, or whatever's in this video grew much bolder. This dashcam footage was taken from the Garland City Police Department. A police officer is chasing a car at high speeds, when things suddenly go off-road. The car has turned into a dead end and is coming up on a chain link fence. It looks like the chase is over, but then this happens. A fence at the end means no way out, or does it? The car appears to have escaped through a solid chain link fence with no gate or any other type of opening to pass through. Every officer who has reviewed this footage has been completely baffled, and no explanation has ever been given. You can tell by the angle of the car's brake lights that it was driving straight the whole time and did not swerve around the fence. Somehow there's no signs of damage to the fence. It looks completely untouched. A YouTuber is suspicious about something to do with the king of rock and roll. Look what happens to his hand right here. Is it a motion blur? Or three extra long alien-like fingers growing outward like some people are saying it is? Okay, so that alone really isn't solid evidence, but what happens next is just bizarre. Watch his assistant's face as he's coming across Elvis's shoulder. The skin goes green and undergoes a facial metamorphosis in which the eyes become black and rectangular, the nose broad flat, and the mouth extra wide. I really hope this is just a camera glitch, but I've really never seen one like it before so I can't explain how. A man on a train awakes to find someone staring at him in a weird way, a ghost in the window to be precise. The pale figure doesn't move, supposedly locking eyes with the passenger who at this point is beyond creeped out, feels watched, and thinks this is some scary stuff to wake up to. When zoomed in, it could be the reflection of something inanimate, though of what I'm not so sure. Whatever it is, the transparent outline of a face is still visible nonetheless. If you still can't see it, look on the right side of the window and you'll see a weird face with a long, narrow nose and all black eyes pressed against the glass. I assume the person who caught this on camera takes this train often and has never seen anything like this before. So what could this strange sighting be? Creator subreddit. This redditor writes, I've been getting haunted for a while now and now it's messing with childhood pictures of me. In the clip, the kid says his door won't stop opening and in that moment it's flung open. Shortly after, a series of pictures falls slightly from the wall and starts to swing. Is this a demon as the redditor suggests? Another redditor in the comments thinks it may be a ghost or a spirit but likely not a demon. 
He offers advice writing. Ask it how you can help. Maybe research your house to see what may have happened there. Other Redditors like I Pro the Floor thinks this video looks legit. I'm genuinely scared for you, he writes. I think we all are. Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. The CCTV video was taken after hours at a business in Ogden, Utah. All is quiet until a full speed plate dives out of a cabinet and shatters all over the break room floor. A security guard on patrol walks over and simply stares at the broken plate for over 10 full seconds before grabbing another to verify what just happened. Neither one can think of a proper explanation. They check the shelf and it looks fine. Let me know if you have any explanation for this video besides the paranormal. Unless the whole video is fake and someone off camera pulled a string then I have no idea how that plate could have fallen. Maintenance technician is servicing the famous Tower of Terror ride one day all alone. According to the surveillance video, however, he may not have been so alone after all. A phantom-like figure briefly appears in the seat directly behind the mechanic, but he doesn't notice and keeps going down a safety checklist of some sort. Then, about a minute later, look what happens about four chairs to the left of where he's sitting. Some people are saying that this is a camera malfunction, but others believe a spirit was trying to get his attention twice and failed. I did some research and found that the Tower of Terror ride has apparently caused a small number of reported heart and brain problems over the years since 2005. Let me know if you think one of these unfortunate passengers is now haunting the ride. A restaurant worker named Bogues182 says that he uploaded this video from his place of work. Some trays clatter to the ground when nobody is around. I guess he thought it was weird enough to check the tapes later that night. This is what he and the work crew saw. I suppose that someone could have been off camera throwing trays, but I'm not sure exactly where they would be standing when this happened, if that were the case. Trevor, aka Hitch, has a live stream channel where he travels all across the country meeting new people. The only problem is the people he meets aren't always alive. He's staying overnight at a hotel that's supposedly haunted when scary things happen to him. The kind of stuff the hotel's owner would probably never want you to see because it would be bad for business. I've never seen anything that can be explained. I've never heard anything that could have no explanation. He is in the middle of talking about how he's never experienced a scary moment that couldn't be explained. And I, like I'm doing stuff where people, I, I think people would be like, "You're you would be very." <laughs> when suddenly some weird things caught on livestream leave him laughing uncontrollably with fear. 
I think he's laughing to cover up an intense sense of panic. A vein is about to bust out his forehead with adrenaline, suggesting his fight or flight instincts were triggered and he was gearing up for conflict. This was not someone in his hotel room because, unless I'm mistaken, he wasn't sharing a room with anyone in this video. He was staying all by himself when the lights turned on. I guess he could have asked a random person to help him make a ghost video, but his response seems genuine so I don't think this moment is made up. I will say as a counterpoint that many other scary livestream moments like this have turned out to be fake though, so I'm not claiming this was 100% real, I'm just saying that this was really weird and he seems freaked out. Tell me if you think he was really staying in a haunted hotel that night. I think he was. After all, when you traveled to different places all over the country, it's only a matter of time before one of them ends up being haunted. And I always look up to the sky and I always say, hi, dad. That's how a YouTuber named Jennifer Moen5 pays her respects to her dad, who has since passed on. Then one day it looks like her father says hello back to her and her family. Oh boy. You can see a shimmering orb rise and fall to the ground as soon as she says hi to her father. I wanted to add that this is the only paranormal video on Jennifer's channel, which otherwise focuses on enjoying wholesome moments with family, so I really don't think this is video editing. I also wanted to ask that everyone please show the utmost respect when telling me if you believe this is real or fake, since it deals with the memory of a loved one. Chris Moon is a paranormal expert who travels around the country, demonstrating the metaphysical properties of the spirit world. This time he is using a spirit box at the Cornell College in Iowa, when suddenly a student's jewelry does something I've never seen before. Can we get oh <laughs> Relax, everybody, don't crowd her, please. Why? If we get it, we're filming, it's okay. Her necklace starts going berserk as the spirit apparently tries to get her attention. She then hears a familiar voice come across the spirit box and immediately bursts into tears. The voice talking to her, she believes, was an old volleyball coach who passed away. I just wanted me to tell you hi. <laughs> <laughs> he misses you so much. Chris Moon says awe and points to the box when he hears it. This video certainly captured some convincing evidence of the spirit world that Chris is trying to prove exists. Upbeat Jason puts on a helmet cam and rides around the neighborhood with his friend on BMX bikes. The video is mostly a nice view of the countryside until he comes across some neighbors with aggressive dogs and no leash. Jason tries to get past them instead of taking another way around and suddenly finds himself flanked on both sides. Ah. There, go fast. A dog lunges straight at Jason, jaws snapping. I don't think they make any contact, but I can tell by the sound of their bark that they are ready to attack. Clearly, they would have protected their territory if Jason stuck around, which he does not. But just when he thinks he is a safe distance away, he hears barking behind him and the chase is on again. Eventually, an adult picks them up and quickly puts their bike in the back of their truck before anything else happens. I really hope the two friends never bike past that house again. Raptor125 puts on a GoPro cam and takes his dirt bike out to make a YouTube video. It isn't long before he sees a familiar gray truck, the same one that chased him away from this area just the other day. He is only riding for about two full minutes when he sees the same truck again, much closer this time. Fearing for his life, Raptor125 speeds out of the neighborhood and onto a dirt track, the gray truck on his tail the whole time. Not even sharp turns at high speeds are enough to get the vehicle off him, 
And Raptor125 has little doubt that this person has the worst intentions possible waiting for him if he slows down. If he falls off his bike at this moment for example, then there wouldn't be enough time for the driver to swerve out of the way. The chase only ends when a farmer watching the whole thing stops the truck. Otherwise, who knows how far this chase would have gone. A group of musician friends are jamming out in the woods in Oregon when a tiny creature suddenly attacks one of them in broad daylight. It's a bat! Holy The bat hits Derek on his shoulder with a dull thud and all of the instruments stop. Everyone watches in disbelief as the tiny creature climbs up his body and Derek can even feel its cold snout as it plants its tiny sharp teeth into his neck just inches away from the jugular vein. It, and then it just bit me. It latched onto his shoulder, then crawled up his neck. He throws the bat off and watches it fly into a tree, where it continues silently watching them from afar. They are freaked out at this point, but they think that it was just a freak occurrence and decide to play some more music. After the bat makes two more swipes at the man, however, his friend has had enough and shoots it with a BB gun. The group takes the bat corpse back to the local health department and has it tested. Sure enough, Derek had been bitten by a rabid bat. He had to get rabies shots for days afterwards. This video experiment proves something which many governments do not want the general public to know. Turning objects invisible is actually way easier than you would think. Look what happens when this YouTuber lowers a basic glass test tube into vegetable oil. But if I actually put it in far enough that the entire test tube is submerged, it vanishes almost completely. This simple experiment proves that certain liquids can actually bend light around an object to render it invisible. The key is pairing the right reflective properties with the right objects. This basic scientific principle is what governments are currently experimenting with to create cloaking devices for humans and even aircrafts one day, if they haven't done so already. To further prove their point, this YouTuber pulls out a second test tube that's been hidden in the center of the glass the whole time. Let me know if you think this experiment really does have any military potential, or if this whole idea is too far-fetched to have any practical use. This ghost sighting in Saudi Arabia has people praying for his safety in the comments. While alone in his room, a YouTuber named Ramadella Rosa captures a ghost in the reflection of a picture on the wall. If you look closely, you'll see it appears to be wearing a hood, and the lower jaw is moving like it has something to say. Ghost or not, there's definitely some kind of bizarre movement going on here. I don't think it's anything he's doing because he's sitting on the floor and the angles don't match up. So with that in mind, what is it? This giant statue was once caught in Vietnam. A huge group of villagers form a long line up a mountainside to catch a glimpse. The person hangs back and zooms in as much as their camera allows. First, they all start singing at 1 minute and 54 seconds. And by 2 minutes and 24 seconds, the giant statue has apparently come to life. Translate if you can. At 2 minutes and 33 seconds, the statue seems to extend an arm out and gently embraces the crowd. But now the cameraman is in tears as he and his family watch the stone robes become soft and weightless as they flap like angelic wings. Did her stone robes really turn into fabric, or was something put over her? I think if this was a sheet, then everyone would notice, and no one would be impressed. At 3 minutes and 58 seconds, you can see a hand just barely peek out from under the robe as it gives a modest wave. By 4 minutes and 35 seconds, the mysterious waving hand is gone. The statue has returned back to normal and does not move again. You probably don't see anything off in the distance, but Sabura Rout has lived in India for many years and is familiar with this train route. He knows where to look and quickly spots something up ahead. Lurking many yards away is a shadowy figure who is up to no good. I will give you one more chance to spot them and save your own life. If you fail, then consider yourself the next easy target. <laughs> 
The person waits for the train to pass and launches a rock in hopes of making this YouTuber drop his phone, which he plans to retrieve and probably sell for money. Fortunately, he is ready and dodges it easily. I can only imagine how many people have not been as prepared as him and had their phone fall straight off the train. Two friends stand on the edge of the woods, looking for a figure that's said to haunt their suburban neighborhood in Missouri. What they encounter while exploring this forest opening has left people asking if it's real or fake for years since. <laughs> A shadow person kneels in the woods, regarding them without saying a single word. They see the shadow for only a moment, but it's scary enough to make them drop the camera and run. Later they retrieve the camera and upload it onto YouTube. If you listen closely, moments before they see the strange figure, you can hear his friend Ben saying he feels something piercing through him, something like its cold, lifeless stare. <laughs> A Miami woman was fast asleep on her couch when an unusually creepy looking woman decides to enter her home, captured on the homeowner's canary home security system. This stranger was filmed the entire time she rummaged through this house. Even more odd is how this woman hovers over the homeowner on the couch, watching her sleep. I originally thought this video was fake because the stranger looks like the possessed girl in your typical scary movie, but the incident is 100% real and most likely wouldn't be believed without this footage. This individual was never caught or identified. Is this a witch? A ghost? Whatever it is, spits red liquid. Published by The New World Dark, this short video shows a cameraman wandering in a forest at night with nothing but a flashlight. You probably already know what will happen next. As he turns, he sees a mysterious figure standing in the forest. The figure in white has long dark hair and is standing very still. As the light falls on her, she spits something red from her mouth and then turns in a silent scream toward the camera. Even more horrifying, she then gives chase. Did the cameraman get away? I hope so. This one looks like she might swallow her prey whole. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.